Hey everyone, Kuran here welcoming you back to Suikoden 5. In the last episode, we went after the wily trader Syro, and we got him in the party after a lot of trading. Most of that off camera, which was good, I guess. We got him in the party, then we explored Raft Fleet and talked to Raja and company. We got Log and Lund to come along with us to over down here to try to recruit the folks in Lord Lake. That didn't work out so well. In this episode, we are going to go ahead and go back into the Southern Wharf because even though the dialogue that we see essentially, there we go, the dialogue that we see here isn't really important, but it is unique, so I do want to go ahead and show it. Ah, you're back, Prince. How'd it go? Ah, judging from that look on your mug, guess it didn't go too well, huh? Well, these things are going to happen. No use fretting over it too bad. You could try going back and then coming again later, Prince. What do you say? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, reluctant as I am to do it, I suppose that's the best move. You got it. Just climb on board then. Alrighty, we'll do that. Alright, here we are, Prince. Whenever you need the ship, Prince, just stop on by. Okay, so unfortunately we lose one of our goodies, so, oh well. Anyway, now that Lun has left the party, all we can really do now is head back to Rainwall, so I'll see you guys there. Hello, Salad Barros, or as somebody recommended, hello, Salad Bar. Ho oh, ho, your royal highness, the prince, and you've brought good news with you from Raffley, yes, yes? Eh, sort of. No, but it was informative. Informative, you say, your highness? <laughs> My, my, listen to you, your highness. You don't have to smooth talk anybody the way I do. If things didn't go well, you need only say so, yes? Well, I suppose there's no danger of Raft Fleet going over to the enemy, so we'll let the issue rest for now, yes? Ah, and speaking of important issues, I've asked our esteemed hard village artist to design our army's flag. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sure it will be a heroic and magnificent fla flag, rather, I was about to say flat, I don't know why. Something befitting a majestic army led by His Royal Highness, if you say so. I'm, uh, looking forward to it. Oh, yes, with such a proud banner representing your cause, Your Highness, we're sure to gain the people's support. Well, 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 you must be ever so exhausted. Come. Get some rest in your room, your highness. You deserve it. I have a few matters to attend to myself, so I will take my leave of you, your royal highness. Alright. Bye, salad bar. Oh-ho! I almost forgot. Forgive the bluntness of my query, but what does your royal highness think of my daughter, Lucerina? Well, she's a lovely girl. But yeah, why do you ask? That too. Oh-ho! Lovely? Oh, His Royal Highness thinks she's lovely? My, my. My daughter will be pleased indeed to receive such high praise from His Royal Highness the Prince. It may be unseemly for her own father to say this, but that girl really is a daughter to be proud of. Her beauty and kindness are both unrivaled in Rainwall, and she's far more competent than most officials. That I can pretty much go ahead and grant you. To be honest, she practically runs our entire territory all by herself. And you don't take this as something of an insult or maybe a stricture that maybe you should get off your rotund behind and do your job? Oh well, anyway. She can be a little too rigid at times, but that could change. Say if she were to, oh, I don't know, fall in love. Wow, way to sugarcoat what you're trying to say there, salad bar. Your Royal Highness, I would most appreciate it if you would... Get to know my daughter better. Much better. Again with the sugar coating, holy cow. Let's just say it would indeed be of great benefit to all parties involved, your highness. <laughs> my god, I don't think this guy would know subtlety if it kicked him between the legs. Jeez. Well, with those wonderful little epithets, let's go upstairs, shall we? Okay, well... Let's see. Alright, uh, nobody's in here. I guess all we can really do is just go to bed. 
because there's nobody to talk to, unfortunately. Not good. This is not good at all. That old geezer is bossing us around left and right. And he won't share any information with us either. He probably just wants you two to be figureheads. Yup. Huh. I'm so damn tired of being a figurehead. I guess we're not really in position to make demands, though. Yes? Who is it? Excuse me. May I come in, everyone? Lucerina, is that you? Yes, come on in. I deeply apologize for bothering everyone so late at night. Excuse me for my bluntness, your highness, but did my father say anything strange to you? Strange? Like what? Well, it seems my father thinks his highness and I should, well... Ah, say no more. He wants you two to get together, eh? What? <laughs> well, actually you two would make a really cute couple. Well, she's not wrong. Lady Sialides, please excuse me, but this is no laughing matter. No, you're right. If that's your father's goal, then it's definitely a serious problem. Yes. And that's why I needed to talk with you about it immediately. I think my father wants to set himself up for power after this conflict by becoming his highness's father-in-law. He may be my father, but I can't believe he'd do something like that. It makes me so ashamed of him. Lucerina. Huh. Nobles are all the same. Well, we don't have to worry about the whole marriage deal this very second. Right now, our main problem is that we're basically the marionettes for Lord Barrows, the puppeteer. It makes me wonder what we're really fighting for. If you're in danger, your highness, it means the whole of Felena is in danger. I told him he shouldn't try to take advantage of you in a situation like this, but he just played dumb with me. Huh, I bet if Raja was here, she'd say that we should have known to expect this from that old snake. Yep, well, she did kind of warn us. If only we had a tactician on our side. A brilliant tactician who would have your best interest in mind, Friador, not Lord Barrows. But it's not going to be easy to find someone like that. Actually, there's one person I know who fits your description. A woman, actually. She worked behind the scenes to help repel the Armis invasion eight years ago. Farid and Raja just did exactly what this tactician told them to, and it brought them victory after victory. In just one month, Armas was completely annihilated. This woman's talent was almost... godlike. You're talking about Lady Merces, aren't you? Funny, I don't remember ever meeting a tactician like that. That's because she's no longer at the Sun Palace. In the uprising, Lady Mersis incurred the Queen's wrath. She advised Her Majesty not to use force too hastily. And as punishment, Her Majesty ordered Lady Mersis to be incarcerated in Agate Prison. She's been there ever since. Sounds like Lady Mersis isn't just smart, but also reasonable. Exactly what we need. But with her locked up in prison, probably not much we can... Agate Prison, huh? Where is that exactly? Uh, Lady Sialides? What? Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Look, I'm getting pretty tired. Let's continue this tomorrow. Um... Lady Sialides? We weren't quite... Nighty-night! Okay... Alright, well, 
after that strange exit. Yeah, okay. Oh, Prince, good morning. Lady Siles is still sleeping. And it looks like George went out somewhere. I haven't seen him anywhere. So what would you like to do, Prince? Well, first off, I want to go into the Northeast Room because Lucerini's waiting for us. Lucerina, not Lucerini. No, no nicknames now. All right, now in battle, well, in battle, in terms of her usual abilities, uh, wait, okay, Agate Prison, all I know is it's located on an islet in the Fados River and it's only accessible by boat. Well, gee, I wonder who we need to talk to then. Hehe. <laughs> you aren't thinking of doing anything dangerous now, are you? Yup. Oh, you can't, your highness. Agate Prison is far too dangerous. Okay, so typically, Lucerina is the one who will essentially let us choose our companions. So, yeah, let's go ahead and bring everybody in. Mediocrity! And the rest of the non-mediocrities, because that's pretty much all we got so far. Like I said, of course, later in the game, obviously we'll get more, but for now, well, there's not really much we can do. Okay, so... Yeah, yeah we're, we're getting Cornelio out of the front of the party. Go away. All right, with that, let's see. I don't think there's much of anything to do here. Now... It's actually here in my notes that I had, well, the mention about the portrait and such. So this is when actually I was going to talk to you in the notes. I just forgot that it was there in the notes. And so, well, we just got to see it a little early. That's all. With that, though, that's pretty much all we have to do here. Except, well, go to Raffleet. And now apparently everybody is singing Lady Mercy's praises, I guess. Anyway, we're to head, to head over to Raffleet to continue our journey. So... I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, well now that we're here in Rathfleet, let's go ahead and talk to Log and Lun. Hey, Prince, wanna use my ship to get somewhere again? Yes, yes I do. Let's go to Agate Prison. Prison? What's a royal guy like you wanna go to a prison for? Wait a sec, don't tell me. You got a friend on the inside wanna bust him out, right? Well, that's pretty close to the truth, actually. Not more or less, yes. <laughs> Prince, I didn't take you for one to be associating with thugs and lowlifes. Exciting. Prince, you're one lucky feller. You came to the right man. Come on, hop aboard. Okie doke. Sure thing. Lun, we're shoving off. Put some extra oomph into it. What's gotten into you, Pop? How come you're all excited all of a sudden? Right you are, girl. I am excited. You, you, you should be all excited too, you know? Now get a move on. What's he all excited for? Because we're going to prison. So we can see Uncle, Uncle Pappy, Mr. Sleeves, and the like. Well, first time that we've gone to Agate, so let's go ahead and stay tuned in for the boat ride here. Now, we actually, I don't think we've seen it yet, but we're going to be venturing by areas that we have seen. You see kind of the bottoms of, I think, what was going to be Lord Lake. Let's see, is that Lord Lake? It looks like it should be Lord Lake, or at least part of it. I, actually, I don't think it is. Although we did get to see some extra themes, or hear some extra little melodies woven into the river theme. Ah, here we go. Hello, Agate Prison. Hello, Godwin Guard. Ah, looky there. Agate Prison straight ahead. And lots of Godwins. I don't think this is going to be easy. Just saying.
What are we gonna do, Pop? We can't get any closer. They'll see us and throw us in the slammer. We're gonna run. Calm down, calm down. Don't get your face all scrunched up for nothing. We're just checking it out for now. And I already got a plan for sneaking in. We'll have to take the long way round, though. Well, what do you mean the long way round? Yeah, you didn't really think it was going to be that easy. We were just going to pull up to the prison, go, We want Lady Merces! And then the Godwin soldiers go, Yes, sir! And give us the greatest tactician, at least on this part of the planet, just willy-nilly. Nah, of course not. So, what in the world is this long way around that Log's talking about? Well, yeah, we'll find out momentarily. All right, we're here, the Basca Mine. Tons of ore used to be mined here, but it's all run out now. Been abandoned about 10 years now. And so, um, why did we come here? Yeah, Pop, we better not be rested here. It's way too creepy, but it's all crawling with ghosts. Relax, relax, it ain't haunted. In fact, the deepest part of the mine leans somewhere real good. You just gotta have some faith in your old, good old fearless pop. Uh, Prince, do you really think this is safe? Well, not really, but I mean, what else can we do? Okay, so... Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and put Log in the party. He's level 5. And then, Lion, you're going to... Let's see, which one of you would it be best to kick out here? Uh, it looks like in terms of stats, Fossil was lagging behind, so congrats, Fossil, you can go take a hike. Okay, so, obviously let's go ahead and switch the formation up accordingly, as I get a weird place for a frame skip. There we go, uh, you know what, this actually isn't bad, because Log's protected, let's see, Lun's in the back, uh, I really don't want that, because she's got some levels at least. Actually, let's put the do re me in the back. There we go. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Okay, we've got a couple of treasures we can pick up here. I don't remember exactly where they are. My notes don't tell me where they are, which is kind of sad. Ah, here we go. There they are. Maybe because they were pretty obvious. Resurrection piece and a turtle orb, which, although it sounds interesting, isn't really... The resurrection piece, though, we definitely want to keep. And also, we want to talk to you. Hey, no trespassing, you hear? We hate humans. Now scram! This is a no-human zone! Well, ain't that friendly of you. Can't you stupid humans tell when you're not wanted? This is a no-human zone! Oh, lovely. A beaver that's dressed up like a rock star. Great. Okay, let's go. Welcome to Bosca Mines! Yay! Alright, so what we want to do is head up here and trigger this mining cart. Okay, let's see. Then I believe we need to continue to go east here and find our first encounter of the dungeon, which is a bunch of zombie snails. Oh boy. I was gonna say, well, it wouldn't be too much if... well, if Leon would actually hit something. But you do notice, though, they can kind of hit, so just be careful. Alright, now, what I also want to show off while we're at it here is... Let's see, let's go ahead and get you guys attacking here. Alright, yes, yes. Okay, I want to go ahead and show off their co-op attack. Dad and daughter hits a row of enemies, and this will be very useful in this battle, so let's go ahead and use it. Okay, it's definitely going to be useful because those two are still alive, so... We need to take them out as soon as we can. Now, the unfortunate part on this, one, you notice it renders Log 
taken out of battle. It renders him incapable for the next turn. And also, it's obviously dictated by both of their weapons. Log, because he just came into the party, is level 5. And his weapon is level 1, so bleh. Unfortunately, he's got some catching up to do. But we still made it. And I'm going to need to do some healing after this battle. So, hip hip hooray. Okay, let's see. Go ahead and get some medicine healing. Well, pretty much everybody's way, really. Let's see. You definitely need it. You pretty well need it. And then... I forgot to pick up antitoxins. This is not good. Hmm. I don't think I have any rune abilities I can use to mitigate this, do I? Uh, actually, I do. I've got... Wait, why does Log have a water rune? Why in the world does he have that equipped? Seriously, he's about the worst person to have that. Oh my god. Uh, that will, though, get rid of this, so... I can at least be thankful for that, anyway. Okay, uh, alright, actually, I need to follow this. Uh, and fight new enemies. Hello, man-eating bats. Gee, y'all don't sound problematic at all, do you? Okay, fortunately, it says you eat people, but you apparently don't eat people too badly. Okay, that's fine. Works for me. And we got a drain piece. That's definitely something we want to hang on to. Okay. Alright, so now let's follow our cart. Let's go east. Then head north, and you see the treasure chest up there, which is martial arts garb. So let me go ahead and see about equipping it here. All right, equipment. And that is going to be good for both log and one. I think I want to give it to... I think I want to give it to... Actually, wow, I need to give it to log. That's interesting. Okay, sure. I was thinking about giving it to one, but well, yeah, he needed the defense more. Okay, now let's go ahead and keep going. And as we go east and north here, past this alleyway, we will continue on to find more monsters. And then find a journeyman crystal. That's really what I was looking for. Okay, so as we go up from here, we get sound set number four. Now, as we venture onward, we hit another cart coming up there. And we get a new enemy while we're at it. The purple creeper. Well, at least it's a new enemy in here anyway. Now, this guy can be pretty tough, so do not take him lightly at all. We got some pretty decent hits on him there, but you notice he can spit out the poison juice there, and since I don't have any antidotes with me, that's going to plague me for a fair while. So y'all are about to see some flashing screens, just fair warning. Okay, so as we move forward, go ahead and trigger the cart here. And... As we go northeast from there, you notice we got a treasure chest up here with a Mother Earth piece, which, eh, Mother Earth piece isn't really that great. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's still not all that good either. Let's see, let's go ahead and get myself healed up here. Okay, Leon's the only one that's still poisoned, so that's good. I also want to get Log some of his MP, or his HP back. Alright, as we get out of there... Let's just go ahead and pretty much make our way around, is all we have to do. Keep going this way. Let's see, I think we need to go south here, then go around. And then pretty much we are on the way into our next area. Although, I need to heal Leon. That poison really took its toll on her. And you could tell as you came into that battle and then made the way out of it. Alright, so let's go ahead and snake along here. And we run into yet more monsters. Now perhaps we can finally make our way through to finish this area and head to the dwarf camp. Huh? People live down here? They're all kids. Nah, wait. Looks like they're something else. What are they? <laughs> Humans ain't the only ones living in Felena, you know? These here are cave dwarves. Strange bunch they are. 
Their hobbies digging holes. In fact, it's about all they do. They're kind of on the stubborn side, but they're real nice fellers, or dwarves. I'd hang out with them over nobles any day. Ha 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 ha. Hmm, let me see. My friend ought to be around here somewhere. Man, all of them look the same from here. Let me get a bit closer. Well, yeah, before we do that, though, let's explore and upgrade. Okay, let's see. All right. Well, let's take a look. I want to take a look first at the armor shop. Just see if there's anything good. Uh, apparently not. And we can actually afford stuff now. Yay! So I want to go ahead and give... Oh, goodness. Uh, they both need that. Let's see. Anything else that you guys could use? Hmm. Okay, we could use some helms here. Looks like... Cornelio doesn't have a hat on at all, I don't think. Yeah, he didn't have a hat at all. Alright, you need that. Then, let me go ahead and pick this up for Leon. There we go. And I think that should pretty well do it. Okay, so, what we need to do to try to find treasure is... See that treasure chest behind the blacksmith there? Yep. Let's get a thousand potch. Then, let's see. I need to... Ah, here we go. Find the appraiser's tent. And the appraiser has a treasure chest with a skull cap, which means my helmet purchasing probably was a bad idea. Actually, it wasn't a bad idea. You know what? That's fine. Now that we've found the treasure here, and yes, that's all the treasure we have to find here, we can look around at, for instance, a blacksmith with his own sprite or own avatar. Huh? Is someone calling me? Huh. Now I'm losing my hearing. Just what I need. So, what can I do for you? What? You want me to forge you a weapon? Well, I'd love to, being a blacksmith and all. But in order to forge a great weapon, I'm gonna need a better hammer. Don't get me wrong, human. My skills aren't the problem. But a guy can only get so far with skills alone, you see. Okay, if you say so. He can still do our normal... Well, I can't do our normal blacksmithing. Okay, never mind. He's our blacksmith recruit, by the way. Alright, so I think... Actually, let me go ahead... See if we can find... Is there... I don't remember if there's an item, spe, item spot here or not. I don't think there is. Okay, you certainly are not one. Alright, that's fine. Doesn't really look to be, which is alright. The only thing I really would have wanted to pick up from an item spot would be antitoxins. So, there's your inn if you need to rest. And there's your item person. Never mind. Hello. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Potato seedling. Definitely get that. And, because I'm a derp, let me buy some antitoxins. There we go. Okay. Now that we've done that, let's see. Actually, one more thing I need to do before we head on. And that is go in, talk to the rune guy. Hello, rune guy. Let's go ahead and unequip that water rune from Log because, my God, why? Oh, my Lord. That's just insane. Okay, let's see. Lun's got the fire rune, which... Actually, we'll keep on her. Can we assemble anything? I don't think we can. All right, we can't access swords, so we definitely can't assemble anything right now. It's all right, though. The only thing that really I would have worried about assembling or putting on is something that we don't have yet, and you might have at this point, but if you've gotten enough power pieces to get one, that's great. If not, no worries. Okay, anyway, that's the main thing, and then once we do that, let's go ahead and equip that water rune on Leon. All right. And last but not least, before we head forward, let's go up a... Jeez, apparently I can't climb a ladder today. Let's go up the ladder and meet someone, technically. Hey! Gunny! Are you here? <laughs> Don't call me Gunny. Oh, hey! There he is, Gunny! Not Gunny. My name's Gun. Ah, <laughs> you ain't changed a bit, have you? Who are all these humans? Oh yeah, almost forgot. I'll introduce you, Gunny. Wait till you hear this. This here's Prince Friador, and that there's Leona, Queen's Knight. I'm actually not a queen's knight just yet. Look. 
And there's my lovely daughter, Lun. N nice to meet you, Mr. Dwarf. You're lying. Huh? Who's lying? You're not friends with the prince. P but... And your daughter wouldn't be as cute as this. Hey, Kisara's a lovely lady. What are you saying? What? Hey, what are you trying to do? Embarrass me? What? You want a piece of me, Mr. Dwarf? Put up your dukes. On second thought, this is definitely your daughter. What? What the hell's that supposed to mean? So that means, this is the real prince. Yeah, and we got a special mission from the prince, Gunny. We're doing Agate Prison. You ain't gonna turn that down, right? I'm in. Ah, oh, that was quick. Uh, wait! Hey, where are you guys off to? Where you think? Agate Prison, of course. With that little thing? The two of us used to be in the business of running fugitives, you know. You two were fugitive runners? Yup, we helped people get away that owed a bunch of money to nasty old loan sharks. And when we wasn't doing that, we were helping gladiators escape. Business was booming, I tell you. Never told me about this before. And once, we almost helped a prisoner get out of Agate Prison. You did? Yup. We dug a secret tunnel there. And that tunnel should be right up ahead. Are you serious, Pop? Hey, of course I'm serious. Follow me and Gunny and you're gonna see for yourself. Alright, see you later. Aw, oh, jeez, do I have to? Yes, we have to. Alright, so Gundy, uh, you get to replace Remy Fa. However, we are not going to do that just yet. What we are going to instead do is go back and rest and save, and we're going to tackle the rest of the mine and Agate Prison next time. So, thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see y'all later.